Thank you guys for checking out the 15 Minute BJ. I am BJ, and today I am joined by my good friend, Mr. Scott Scarborough. Scott, say hello to the world. How's it going, world? <laughs> well, uh, Scott and I have been friends for a while. We met at the Balarney Stone Open Mic, where I've met plenty of great musicians. One of my favorites here, though, he's a singer songwriter from the Orange County. And OC, baby. Am I getting this right? Yeah. And yeah. City I'm of guess Orange. This part 26. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. About to be it. 27 oh, yeah. in August. So Great. All right. Well, tell the people what I didn't tell them. Uh, no, no, nothing. Not much. Just uh, represent uh, Orange County vibes, reggae vibes, uh, funky vibes. You know, digging the OC funk. OC funk. Got my birthday coming up soon. Yeah. So uh, tell us a little bit about your music, sir. How long have you been playing? I've been playing. What do you um, play? <laughs> I've been playing 13 years, and obviously I, uh, you know, play some guitar. But I've uh, I started singing probably about maybe four or five years ago. I mean, I always sang, but I didn't really get into it until mm. you didn't know. Didn't enjoy it. Yeah, well, I didn't even play it until uh, one of my friends told me it was like, "Hey, I got this gig. You know, can you can you cover for this other musician? You know?" And it was my first time ever even playing like alone in public by myself. Mm. You know, just me and my guitar. So I played in bands, plenty of bands. Always the lead guitarist, kind of, you know, just sitting in the corner doing lead me on doing crazy riffs and riffing, raffing, always, uh, always jamming though. But uh, yeah, it wasn't until then, and then I moved on to San Diego. Moved so, down to SD, <laughs> and then I just started playing a shitload. Yeah, and uh, your songwriting, I would say, is very authentic. It's very oh, true you. to Scott Scarborough style. Like, I don't know. You sound like all the people you listen to, but you don't sound like anybody, if that makes any sense. You know? <laughs> that makes perfect sense. In some weird way, I think it makes complete sense. And in fact, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, my favorite song that you wrote is actually about your transition from the Orange County to Ch- San Diego. Oh, Am yeah. I not right? Oh, it's true. True. Okay, very right. true. Very true. Well, before we go on, let's have you play that song. Since this is a music podcast and the people out there are dying for some music, this is Scott Scarborough and he's playing Everything is Good. You got it. Everything is good, everything is good over here This side neighborhood, well everything is good Everything is good over here This side neighborhood, oh I grew up in the OC Packed my things, moved down to SD And I'm liking what I see good over here this side neighborhood well everything is good everything is good over here this side neighborhood oh everything is good everything is good everything is good everything is good like the always but can't be fair been gone for several days been like between my legs but can't feel a thing yeah everything is good everything is good over here this side neighborhood well everything is good everything is good over here this side neighborhood well everything is good Everything is good over here This side neighborhood Well, everything is good Everything is good Everything is good Everything is good Ah, yes, everything is great Oh, thank you (laughs) My favorite song, man It's such a happy Scott song Like, when I first met you, I was like There's no way this anybody else wrote this song (laughs) It's a great right. I did. I wrote that on the boardwalk in PB. <laughs> Hell yeah, that definitely sounds like a boardwalk in PB kind it's of song. It's a boardwalk song, man. <laughs> well, what about your influences, man? I mean, tell people what is it that uh, you like to listen to? What gets you oh, inspired love, to write a song um, like "Everything Is Good"? <laughs> I mean, I love I love Zeppelin. I love I love Hendrix. I love Sublime. I love uh, Marley. 
I love all the Marlies, you know. Even, all even the, Marlies. the new, yeah, <laughs> all the Marlies, <laughs> every one of them. But um, you know, John Lennon, the the classics you got to. But you know, I I, I do like to keep up with with modern music too. You know, mm. uh, gotta love like Arctic Monkeys, like you know, people like Green Day, people like. Um, Even though know, Green Day is considered classic rock, right? <laughs> Isn't that weird, man? It's That's so crazy, weird. man. That's like a generation. That was my generation, you know. We're old. I know. Old We're becoming fuck. classics. <laughs> <laughs> Get dusty. That's for sure. Right? A little bit. Just a little creaky. A little. Uh, I can feel it in my knees. You know. Yeah. You feel that little creak in your knees. That's when you know you're getting old. Definitely, I feel yeah. that all over my body. <laughs> right. Um, no. It's because you're a hard worker. Yeah, well, you know, we all are. We all are, really. That's why I have you on this podcast. I don't have yeah. people who don't do shit. I have right. important people that do right. things around here. Right. <laughs> we do so, shit. Speaking of doing stuff, tell people, what are you up to, like, musically? Do you, what do you, you play a lot of shows? Do you record in anything? Are you filming a porno? What are you into? Oh, uh, yeah, a couple pornos, a couple. Um, <laughs> other than oh, that, you know. The <laughs> into your face. Yeah, bro, what the My fuck? <laughs> oh, High quality I studio thought this here. was 15 minute BJ. I didn't know I was the one that had to give the BJ. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the microphone gets a BJ from you. I was not prepared for this. <laughs> my bad. You need to talk to my agent. <laughs> no, um, you know, I've been working on the album. It's been slow gigging wise. Uh, you know, trying to get out there, trying to uh, do more of that. You play a lot of the open mics. I see the like 710 a lot, and you play. Oh, yeah. We well, used to play Blarney Stone until they closed. Right. That. We need a petition to start <sighs> Blarney Stone back up because that was like I'm my sure own he'll gig. Miss it. Man. He'll miss it and be like, well, we'll bring it back. Right. I just don't know if he'll bring me back. <laughs> we'll Dude, see. I'll go in That's there and then you come in. <laughs> we'll I had two people off. tell me that today. They're like, well, why don't we just go in and do it? I'm like, because right? if he ever does want me back, that's not the way to do it. I know. I was thinking, I, I might go in there tonight and just be like, yo, what's, what, what's, what's happening? Like, what's, what's the dealio? Bring like a big crowd of people, you know? <laughs> we were getting ready for open mic, man. <laughs> <laughs> They'd probably still let you play. I'd be like, don't you have a mic? Just yeah, right. There. You brought people. I could do it, you know, right? Right? They would just keep me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good up there. Go play. Well, we definitely need to get you more uh, more out there then. If you're just doing, which ones? Open mic on 710. That's Barnstone. it. That's all I have going on right now. You got to do the Rebecca's. You got to do Java Joe's. You got to do the stats. Let's do it. We got to get you all over the place, man. I have a little more open availability now. Yeah. So, you want to talk about your job? I think your job is pretty uh, awesome. Yeah, for CBDSD, you know. <laughs> so Collective. Yeah, it's important that every musician has a day job, and I think you've got the right. best musician <laughs> day job ever. Tell people what I you mean, do. I mean, one. I work for a uh, medical marijuana dispensary. It's pretty great. Uh, <laughs> I work as a delivery driver. So um, if you guys need it, go to Weed Maps, look up uh, CBDSD, you know. You They're, can get some music and some Yeah, bikes. exactly, man. You know, That's I don't bring do. my guitar you with take me. Some, you should take some like CDs or something. Right? And just, like, well, once I get it, once bags, I get the yeah. album going, you know, yeah, <laughs> for sure. I'll be like, complimentary. Just cut a CBSD know? demo or something. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, we got like t-shirts and yeah, dude, totally use that to sell my merchandise, man. Why not? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Free CD with first time patient purchase. Purchase. <laughs> purchase. Purchase. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah no that's cool and i think that uh again it suits you like everything that you do kind of comes around full circle to like just an authentic true scott uh, I, I do things in life i love to do man yeah <laughs> you just settle for no bullshit and i really um, admire that about you I, that's why i was excited to have you on this podcast because you've been a big inspiration to me i appreciate since it I met you, it's just fucking be true to yourself enjoy what the fuck you do and don't let the fucking haters hate. Well, yeah. let them hate, but you know, yeah. don't pay no attention. We don't really give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> and from what I can tell, you don't have no haters. I haven't seen anybody hating on Scott ever. It's hard to find haters to hate this face. That's true. That's true. And you're <laughs> you a know? world traveler, so like they, you, know, the, right. you know, lovers around the world, that's, that's all you got. All right, well, why don't you play us out? One more song. We got time for that, and then mm. uh, we'll tell people where to find your music, and that'll be a solid 15-minute BJ. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> All right, this last one is gonna be uh, it's gonna be a little rough. It's called uh, "Rough Love It." Nice. Do me a favor. Turn your guitar on down just a little bit. We we're Turned peaking down. on the last one. Shoot, go. Cool. This is live music, folks, and you know what? Shit know. has to be adjusted sometimes. Yeah, that's good. That's much it's better. It's hard to make this magic work. Live music matters, folks. Don't forget it. This Give it no, up to BJ no for the auto mag tune. audio magic. Yeah, no auto tune. Auto tune off. Here we go. <laughs> so "Rough Lovin'" by the Talented and sexy Scott Scarborough. Super sexy. <laughs> hey. 
Hey little mama, don't you treat me so right My sugar mama in the middle of the night You flip my world and you boil my water Even though you're the preacher's daughter But sometimes you're a bit too much Rough love and no gentle touch The type of girl to tie my tongue to my feet Look at me doll, you got my heart skipping beats You know I love you in your devilish ways That punch drunk love's got me caught in a daze Sometimes you're a bit too much Rough love and no gentle touch Oh baby, you make me really wanna get up and go crazy That's okay, yeah, that's alright I can dance with you all night Oh baby, you make me really wanna jump up and go crazy That's okay, yeah, that's alright I can take you home tonight Alright Yeah But sometimes you're a bit too much Rough love and no gentle touch Sometimes you're a bit too much Rough love and No gentle touch You heard it here, folks. Oh, thank you, BJ. Scott Scarborough the loves the rough it, loving. <laughs> Damn right I do. <laughs> Hell yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, please give it up for my friend Scott Scarborough. He is the man, he is the myth, he is the legend, and he's a good dude, so you need to check him out. Where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook for now. I don't have any music posted as of yet, but keep... Uh, keep we're going to work on update. that. If he's not on, recording shit, I Facebook. promise you, I will make him record something. And we'll put I know. I have it coming. I have <laughs> it's it coming. coming. It's, it's just coming. in the works. Good. You Good. Know? It's Good. in the works, for you sure. Got a, you got a, sure. a, you know, a tentative date for what's coming out, or what, what are you um, releasing? Definitely. Can you tell us? Is it a secret? What's going on? We need um, to know. You will You will get those two, <laughs> definitely some uh, a good version of those two songs. You know, recorded. Oh, those are two good versions too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Live oh, is great, you. the best. Yeah. Right, right. If you can't I mean, play it's, live, it's then got you a suck. great, it's got a great live essence to it. I try and keep that in the studio. Good. You know, try and keep that, uh, that element of uh, the live, that rawness. You know, especially for my music, it works. But um, I, a date definitely by the end of summer. Yeah, you're a summer oh, musician, man. You gotta two, get that summer track right? out. <laughs> You know, it just got to work on some loose ends and, uh, you know, it's a business. It is, it is. You know, got to make it happen. We will get the music to you, folks. It's going to, it's going to come. It's going to come. All right. So find him on Facebook, Instagram. Yep. Look, uh, look for me on Facebook and Instagram, uh, Scott Scarborough, uh, keywords. <laughs> yeah. He's a good man. He's a good dude. Plays good music. And I'm uh, usually playing a guitar somewhere in my Even in though my he's an OC pick. import, I still consider him a San Diego local, and it's great to have you in like the San Diego, Diego music native. community, sir. I'm glad you are technically my coworker. <laughs> Hell yeah. Proud to be. <laughs> All right. Well, I love you. The internet loves you. Later, good times, and make sure you guys like, subscribe, Peace share. Out, everybody. Tell all your friends to look up Scott Scarborough and the 15 Minute BJ, and... Give all your friends 15-minute BJs. Oh, Share yeah. this with them. Share 15-minute BJs around the world. Goodbye. Ciao, brah. Ciao, brah. Ciao, brah. Scott Scarborough in the ready, house, bro. ladies and germs. What's up? How's it going? <laughs>